for cars, buildings, or maybe making stuff. Six-year-old Evelyn and her brother are checking out the Association for Mineral Exploration's Discovery Day, and she is learning a lot about the Earth's surface okay. and minerals. How I'm trying to say is that there's all types of crystals on the Earth, and lava is one of the crystals. On Sunday, AME's annual Roundup Conference invited families to explore minerals. They can get up close and personal with rocks and learn what minerals are found in our backyard right here in BC. We mine a lot of copper. It's one of the most important metals that we mine here in BC. That's because copper is the second most conductive metal here on Earth, just behind silver. Geologist Sarah Jackson Brown says copper is very important to BC's economy. Millions of tons of copper come out of BC every single year. It's one of our most important exports. It took 20 years, 10, 20 years before we even turn it into a mine. And this geologist says Canada's mining system is very regulated. And for a mine to operate in BC, there's a lot of permits needed and collaboration with the different government groups and the local First Nations. There's baseline studies that get done in there for wildlife, for water, to make sure that the effects that the, the mine has. I'm just going to affect the, the mine isn't just going to affect the site, but the cumulative effects as well that we have in the environment. AME's CEO Kendra Johnson says BC's most popular mineral, copper, will help pave the way for cleaner energy solutions. The average electric vehicle actually is, uh, requires four times more copper than a combustion engine vehicle. So right there, we're going to need a lot more copper. Jackson Brown says that minerals are precious and going up in value. And that was one of the factors that led up to the end of the penny production in Canada. Copper was getting too expensive and it actually cost more money to make a copper penny than the penny was worth. Besides copper, other minerals can be found in BC. Gold, silver, uh, steel making coal. And steel making coal can be used to make human made precious stones. This is a clump of steel making coal and it has the same chemical formula as a diamond. The geologists here say that if this piece of coal was put under extreme pressure and temperature, it would turn into a synthetic diamond. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.